Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Ah, good morning, good evening, good night. Bonsoir. Wherever you are in the world. Dave's Star is in France. It's Monday the 5th of uh, February. Uh, it's my birthday in five days time. 10th of February. Um, looking forward to it. We're going out for a meal on Saturday night at uh, the Marjolaine. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's uh, uh, like a, an old... Is it an old rectory? Anyway, it's, it's, it's of historical nature. And the last meal we had there was pretty good. And that's the one I got pickled. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't very good of me to get pickled. So, uh, and it's, uh, it's a brisk, brisk morning today. I would say brisk as in it's about four, five degrees centigrade. Uh, so it's chilly, but it's dry, and that's the main thing. Uh, had a day off yesterday. I didn't didn't do hardly anything yesterday uh, I needed to rest uh, we had a nice uh, lunch which was um, steg with some peppercorn sauce roast potatoes and broccoli and it was delicious with some nice red wine and that was that was our lunch which was about I don't know half past one two o'clock in the afternoon um, and it was it was really nice. I I liked it. I liked it a lot. I like steg. Um. So and in the evening we we all the afternoon we just chilled out. Chloe took Una out for a long walk. That was funny because when she got back, she, uh, I'm talking about Una, she was absolutely uh, shattered. And when I went to clean her, she was just oh laying there oh just hurry up type of thing. Um. Normally she she goes nips goes to nip me in the uh, in the hands, but I, so long as you say no 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 she's fine. Uh, so what else? So uh, Chloe's been on uh, seminars uh, to do with the uh, jeep business. If if it's viable to um, kickstart it. Uh, with all these tax regimes coming in at the moment, which are killing the, the, the overall jeep businesses in France. Um, and if, if it's not viable, it's not viable. Um, it will be... Um, the building behind me will be um, Dave's Den. The bottom I will convert into a workshop and the top living quarters for any guests that want to... Well, it's already converted into living quarters. But the bottom will be my workshop. Big, big workshop. Then I can store my motorcycles in there. Which are currently in storage. So that would be good. Um, so she's she's at another seminar this morning. Um, in Evron. Um, so, yeah. Let, let's just wait and see. And uh, see how things uh, come about. And today, I'm just... I have to cut back... Um, this rosemary bush because half of it's dead and it's um, as you can probably see there the bottom half is dead and it's it just needs uh, pruning uh, to give it a bit more life because the dead wood is is sapping the energy from the plant I sound like a, I know what I'm talking about don't I no I'm just making it up as I go along that's my life Fake it until you make it. <laughs> no, I'm joking, really. But I know a lot of people have done that. And it's worked for them. Um, especially at uh, one of the... Uh, well, IBM it works. Let's put it that way. You get into IBM, you fake everything, and then suddenly you've made it. I know a few people like that. But uh, I'm not going to go into that. That's, that's politics. 
Uh, I'm, uh, anyway, so I'm going to crack on with this, and um, if I come up with anything else, uh, then I'll I'll put something up. But um, stay safe, everyone, and I'll catch you soon. Ah, right. Uh, another bag filled. Another bag filled, and cut the uh, rosemary back and uh, severed the arteries of the uh, invasive vine at the back because that was choking it and it was starting to wrap itself around the uh, the rosemary I don't want to trim it back or prune it back too far but the, the stuff at the bottom that was all dead so I'm, I'm leaving uh, this side's pretty much dead but I don't want to cut that side this one's alive, the front bit's alive, and the, the, the top areas are alive. I want that to, to start um, growing properly. Uh, so I don't want to kill it, if you know what I mean, because we use rosemary quite a bit. Um, so, I've done that. Uh, I can't go to the Deschetterie at the moment, because it's it shuts at quarter to midday, and it reopens at... Um, I think it's half past one or quarter to two, something like that. So I'll, I'll do a deschetery run this afternoon. I've got a few more odds and sods to uh, do around the garden. I'll update you as I go along. Catch you later. The next day. Ah, good morning. It's Tuesday, the 6th of February. Just about to uh, go out on my uh, garden maintenance travels for today because it's dry um, got my tools prepared um, oh just thought I'd give you a little um, update on uh, one of the bad things in France I mean really bad uh, the postal system Pathetic. Um, they couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery, honestly. <clears throat> really, really bad. La Poste, honestly. Um, it shouldn't even be a company. Uh, they're just rubbish. Um, Chronopost is another one in France. Absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, not very good at all. If you want a parcel or a letter, an urgent package or whatever it may be, you use DHL or uh, an, another well-known courier system, courier network even. Um, <clears throat> because in our experience, since we've been here nearly four years, Three years actually, just over three years. Uh, La Poste, not, not not worth the paper they've written on, honestly. Um, that, that's not down. To, well, some of it's down to the workers, but you know, when you you're a van driver and you can't be bothered to deliver to your door, so you deliver to the the easiest um, post office or closest post off post office to your address. That's bad, especially when your wife has just walked the lane and I've been in and there's been no delivery. And I have an alarm system and a closed circuit TV that sets off when anything appears at the entrance. Ridiculous. <coughs> anyway, winge over, let's crack on. Right, first job of the day. Cut back this uh, vine um, because it needs it, and clear up this overgrowth here. And that's ex exactly what I'm going to do. So this is the before, and then I'll cut through to the after. Catch you in a minute. What a beautiful day! Oh, welcome back. Um, right, that's that job done. What do you think? Can you see that? 
nice and tidy I think looks a lot better than what it did back to the stones as well lovely so let's crack on with the next job ah, welcome back again so next job it's only a small job is to cut back all of the surrounding bush from this tree because it's getting um, swamped and um, it's a bit of a mess anyway so just need to and take the this vine creepy stuff off the tree as you can probably see and uh, yeah and and just give it a quick prune and we'll be done right let's do that ah it's me back again tree surround done nice and clean and tidy the ivy I've got rid of uh, the sauce so no ivy will suffocate the tree anymore that's the problem in France ivy gets everywhere I mean look at this this is all dead now so I've cut it off at the source, dug the root out and everything. So that's all dead. That's just providing insulation for the sheet. And uh, you can see on the back side, we've got crawlers on this side as well, which are all dead, which can get into the uh, cement brickwork a lot. So I've just had a notification off my wife that she's uh, cooking can't miss that because I, I normally do most of the cooking so I can't miss that um, I wonder what surprises she's got for me anyway I'm gonna put this stuff away uh, temporarily until after lunch and then uh, I'll catch you in a bit well just had lunch it was very nice uh, typically English but my wife cooked it egg and chips lovely uh, so now I'm going to tackle the bramble fest behind me. Now I haven't got much battery so uh, I might uh, not record but I've, here's the before. All of this. Now if I can get this done in an hour then I'm laughing. I might record a bit of it but uh, wish me luck because it's, it's, it's still bloody cold and the tools for the trade are in there all of these so let's have a go shall we I'll uh, speak to you in a minute to ta for now Whew. right it's now started to rain uh, but I've started to make progress. Started here. And I've filled one bag already. But I wish I had thicker gloves, I'll tell you that for nothing. I'm getting pricked beyond belief here. <laughs> but uh let's uh let's crack on. I I just want to finish this this last bit if I can if I can't I'll probably run out of bags anyway but uh, let's give it a go right let's see how, how far I get I'm not going to record it because um, I'm running low on battery I've, how much battery have I got uh, maybe uh, yeah <clears throat> I'll see how I go catch you in a minute well, uh, I'm glad I didn't film that. <laughs> I look like an absolute idiot waving that thing around. Uh, something out of a Jerry Lewis film. Uh, those people that are old enough to remember Jer Jerry Lewis, you'll know what I'm on about. But uh, that's what I've done today. So all I've got to do now is bag this stuff up and uh see and then see what time it is and call it for call it a day 
I'm sweating like a good one and it's raining. But uh, this is the trials and tribulations of living in a rural property in France. You have to stay on top of it. If you don't, it just gets overgrown. I mean, I've got all of this to do down here. So on my days, as I'm not DIYing, I am uh, maintaining the grounds, so to speak. So uh, yeah, let's bag this, bag, bag this, bag this stuff up, and carry on. Catch you later. See, rain or shine, Dave will oh, Dave will finish it. There we go. Finished. You can probably get a better view behind. Like that. All on that side. It's now, uh, I think it's five o'clock, all thereabouts. That was hard work, that was. I've got so many cuts. But uh, needed to be done, because it was encroaching on the path. And I've, I've still got this side to do. I, uh, I started the other day, but uh, my wrist uh, gave me a few issues. So I've got from here downwards on this side to do. Uh, that should take an afternoon, hopefully, or less. And then uh, Bob's your uncle. And uh, I'm now going to have a nice cup of tea. And... Uh, I might have a soak in the bath later because uh, it did start raining and uh, even even the wife came out with Una saying, well, aren't you coming in? This weather's terrible. Yes, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Anyway, uh, this has been a little bit of a couple of days compilation, I guess. So, like, subscribe, hit the bell, Follow me, do it. Uh, donate. Hey, I don't, I don't need it, but you know, every little bit helps. So uh, it's Dave signing off, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care now. Ta ta for now. The next day. Oh, hello everyone. Quick uh, catch up on the tail end of. Uh, this week's video, sorry, I've got runny nose and I've got uh, dusty hands. Um, it's uh, Wednesday, the 7th of November, three days to my birthday. Whoa. And my wife is being very, very secretive lately. I don't, yeah, probably she's got a bit of surprise. She, she measured me yesterday and I don't know why, as in waist measurement. And I'm thinking, what's this for? Oh, nothing, mind your, mind your business. I said, yeah, but it is my business when I'm half naked in front of the window. Anyway, uh, tail end of the, uh, this is gonna be a compilation. Yeah, uh, I've done uh, uh, Monday and Tuesday. I'm losing my marbles again. Uh, and today is Wednesday, so um, I'll throw this up in the next few days um, when I've got time, because I'm really, really busy this week, as you can probably tell. Uh, I've done the run around today uh, because uh, our bank has sent our new cards to our old address. So I've had to do a, uh, uh, an hour and a half, <laughs> nearly two hour round trip uh, to get our mail from our old address. And um, the bank already knows our current address, our current address, but they choose to send it to our old address. Um, the more I come across this administration failure, not f just from the government, we're talking about banks as well, then the more and more disgusted I become and uh, yeah so it, it just it, it, it beggars belief how 
such a professional business stroke company um, can act this way. So, yeah, crazy. Anyway, today, uh, so I've, I've, um, I've picked up the, our mail um, and now I am, I've just been doing some sanding. Uh, I haven't got uh, much time today. Um, I've just done some sanding. I've got some more skimming to do, but that I'll have to do that tomorrow now. So I, I might uh, put a vid up. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's it basically. Apart from the weather here is non-stop rain. Um, it's not very nice. Looking out the window now, yeah, it, it's it's not very nice at all. Um, thankfully, I got most of the stuff I needed to do in the garden done yesterday. Um, but I felt it today. <laughs> Oh God, I think it's age catching up with me. But uh, I've got some cooking to do this week. I um, have not yet decided it could be a stew because it's still quite chilly and windy and cold. It's 10 degrees centigrade out there. And with a driving rain, it's not very pleasant, as I said. So it could be a stew. It could be a another cottage pie. Um, could be sausage rolls, comfort food. And yes, you can get the sausage meat over here for said sausage rolls. And it's generally quite nice, but it's always best to get from a butcher because the stuff that they sell in the supermarkets is not that good. It can be a bit sinuous. But uh, there we have it. So this is the tail end of the uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I will uh, put another vid up um, probably over the weekend and um, see how it crack on. I might do some video of, videoing me of some skimming, which I don't know why you want to see that. But um, yeah, let's see how we get on. Anyway, going to love you and leave you. And I'll speak to you soon. Ta-ta for now.